The curtains, tattered with age and covered in dust, hang before you, as if taunting you. You see a dimly lit room full of dusty furniture and trash. A doorway stands in the back, covered in dozens of scary little cage-like trinkets, your shadow looming over it like an omen. I warned you, you're unleashing forces beyond your understanding. heavy door with a missing handle stands before you, covered in dozens, if not hundreds, of little oddly shaped trinkets and charms. It appears to be locked. Only an echo. No one is there. done. You clearly don't care about the consequences. What gives you the right? Don't expect my help from now on. The back door is locked and I threw away the key. I won't trifle with such forces. Do look at the books though. The books compel you. You may be able to make up for this by buying a lot of books. I hope you're a voracious reader. Life doesn't need to be a struggle. I'll be with you in a moment, officer. Let me just finish my sandwich. Talk to Angry Hog René first. Have you no shame? Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. René, you're a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please, let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? I'm trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ask questions. Shoot first. Ask questions never. No, you got this. There's the ball. You're the game.
This felt wrong. Wrong like touching your sister's breast. You threw your sister's breast. Mon Dieu! Good job, officer. That was an excellent throw. There are no two more harmful words an athlete can hear than good job. And this was downright embarrassing. What are you talking about? You just executed a pretty much perfect petong throw. How are you ever going to get the officer's shit off your nose, Gaston? Or even climb out of his ass? Right. Was the demonstration it? Or do you still need something from us, officer? Yes, officer. What do we need from this gentleman? Unfortunately, I don't. Unlike most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement. But this affair has passed me by completely. In Martinez, the Union is the law. So can you really blame them? Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. If I knew, I would not be afraid to tell you. I simply don't. I'm an old man, not a coward. The daily business of the riffraff no longer concerns me. This is a man with a lot of past, but little present, and almost no future. Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. I do. Fire from heavy artillery. Why what? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Commies, communists, socialists, anarchists, call them what you like. They just chose the name to feel special. Senseless sentimentality. Sadly, no. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. Should have fought dirty, like they did with their suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't so, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the suzerain's cannon simply weren't big enough. Because this place is a damn beachhead. Had to soften the commies up first. Yes, the military coordinated amphibious landing to take back Revachel. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. This here is blood ground where coalition boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. Most likely, we're playing petonk on their mangled corpses. Blood ground. You got old René going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. Damn right, son. They laid the fire of hell on this city before they stormed it. And it worked, too. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. Well, it's your own damn fault. You, we, the Coalition, Rivachol, 
whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course they still all influence. You don't even begin to truly understand the players on the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the... What do you think? Thinking men have opinions on these things. Present one. I'm just so damn sorry it had to be the coalition. After eight years of fighting those hyenas, boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountains, I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned to Revachal, or even if that damn clan Friselle had risen from the grave and led us. Sadly, that was not the case. This royal failure weighs heavily on him. Instead, all is that is just, holy, and beautiful in the world, was wiped away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. Foreign influence peddling garbage and stupid music on the radio. This is just what the commies wanted. This was their plan all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. Damn Frisell. He was a king we couldn't protect. The Carabineers failed him, and the Crown. <laughs> he died in the hands of the Hyperle, in a very public execution. He slouches as he says that. It makes him smaller, admitting they left the king to the mob. A true king in both blood and mind led Revachal before Frisell. He would have been better, but the damn commies drove him into exile. The suzerain is the king! Has everyone forgotten already? <sighs> They've forgotten already. It's no use talking to you. You were still in daddy's balls when it happened. When we took our last stand against the fifth and rode the cavalry straight into gunfire. Son, you've really let yourself go. It's a disgrace. But Coach Physical Instrument is going to get you back in prime condition. Even if it takes a million push-ups. It's going to take blood, sweat, piss and tears. But when I'm done with you, boy, you will be a master athlete. Behold, world. Here walks a sportsman, hands choked and hair kept back with a bandana. The Homo Athleticus. I have really outdone myself. This is divine. Yes, that's what you need, Gaston. More padding on that fat ass of yours. I hope your heart gives out. René, tsk, tsk. it's a little pleasure. Life doesn't need to be a, um, a struggle. Hello, officer. How might I be of assistance on this fine day? Let me think. I heard someone was hanged and left on a tree for a week. But that's all I know, really. No, officers, I'm sorry. And I really would like to assist. You are both good guys. I can see that. Then help them, you wimp. You have plenty of shoulder with the ghost caviar in the Union. Someone must know something. I wish I could, but I just don't know anything. I always keep my nose clean and don't gossip. 
Everyone knows and respects that. Respects? I'm not. I'm not even any... Of course he's holding back. His mouth is so full of union prick he can't even speak properly. Can I at least finish my fucking sentence before you piss on it? Is that okay, René? I'm not anyone impotent in the Union. I just know have heart. Everyone in Martinez knows the Clare brothers. I taught this boy's human studies and history in the gymnasium. What do you know about history? You never witnessed history. Only heard about it years later, when it had already moved on. You don't know history. There he stands, proud, rigid and alone, like a cracking marble statue. Let's try not to get caught in a crossfire. Lest we leave riddled with bullet holes, this animosity is ancient. Oh, in many ways, yes. Like an honorary member. I attend meetings and parties, help with little things. Everhart, Edgar, and the older debarders all know me. Not in the technical sense. I don't have a vote or a membership card, but Everhart keeps me on the payroll, just for the little things. Of course he's not a member. He's not a member of anything. I knew that. He's a Vesavain. Turns to where the wind blows and tries to look important. I hate this socialist rabble, but even siding with them is better than living your entire life on the fence. Never committing to anything. Pick a damn side already. Writing work mostly. Occasionally, he needs something written, and I happen to have a way with words, people say. Oh, nothing official, I assure you. Just essays for the newspapers. About Martinez, and how things are, and how they could be. Everhart and I have this long talks where... Well, he tells his little penman exactly what to say. It's commie propaganda, plain and simple. You should be ashamed of yourself. No, thank you. For being consummate professionals. You'll have this case wrapped up in no time. This coin-operated viewer is facing southwest. Its coin slot is full of fossilized bubblegum, rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. The metal feels cold and wet under your palm. It looks unhygienic. A thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. You spell out the word, Onuk, written on the other side, with N and C scribbled backwards. Under the graffito, a sea of blues and greys appear. Behind the water lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts, lanky weather-worn wooden planks, an X-shaped cross topping its tower. The church looks old and weather-worn. There are no lights in the windows. Around the large wooden building you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach, and a small tent set up on the ice. This coin-operated viewer is facing south. The instruction manual says to insert 25 sentences and pull the handle while looking inside. Then use the focus knob to zoom in if necessary. 
Your money disappears into the coin slot, a clunk, the ring of metal. The curtains on the display open. You lean in to catch the view. It's blurry, different blues and greens. In the middle of the shimmer stands a drab gray shape, like a ghost. The lenses shift. The ghost sharpens into an islet in the bay. In the ruins, a man-made structure is visible, a half-sunken sea fort, its concrete almost reconquered by nature. It looks as if it was abandoned quite some time ago. Nothing but a rotten tooth remains of the anti-aircraft tower. A lonely birch tree grows out of it. Its leaves ripped from it by the winter wind. Really? I don't have the eyesight to make it out. The little brave birch tree seems to wave back in the wind. <laughs> 